Egg McRoll. What? <laughs> okay, okay. Break, break this down for me, then. What do you believe that? What do you believe the contents of the Egg McRoll is? Oh, Listed. dude, I'll tell you exactly what it's gonna be, man. And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos, and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Lads, we're still alive. We're still at home. We're still at one piece. <laughs> oh yes. no, Papa, do you have the black lung? I have the trench foot. <laughs> oh, no. It's, moved, it's moved up to my arm, and now I have the trench arm. <laughs> oh no, the, Soon the, I will the have dreaded the trench, trench lung. Oh, what's that? I don't... You, <laughs> Too hot for Twitch, baby. Hey, everyone, I'm Vince Stone. That's yeah. Jordan Swing. That's Pedro Mateus with you at home. Joining us live, helping us form Cocaine Voltron. Oh, man. Has it been a busy week for everyone? It has. I've been I've been busy. Really? Yeah. Like, like I was saying in the free, free super shows and like, yeah, I'm working from home, but I got I'm, I'm like, unlike this freaking goober over here, <laughs> I have actual work I need to get done. So, mm. Yeah, no, I, I I do IT support for the most part, but then again, I'm also in charge of like all of the uh, ordering of IT stuff for the east of England. That that explains the, whole the laptops. Of the Midlands. So, so so see, I'm I, uh, I'm I'm DevOps, so I have to support developers, and they have no shortage of problems. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I have to support just about everyone else because, yeah, no, as it turns out, people want to work from home, but then they realize, oh, wait a second, I don't have the proper equipment, or so they think, so there's been a lot of crap that needs to be ordered, so there's that. App <laughs> apparently there's about an hour's worth of crap that needs to be ordered, so. Yeah, I sent emails between like 8 and oh, no, uh, emails. 7 and 8 a.m., and, um... Orders get put in, so yes. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, you know. I've been, I've been having a blast from the past. I've had to be, I have to be using uh, Google Hangouts quite a bit. Oh, what? <laughs> yeah, because we're, we're Google Apps, right? That's still supported. That's still a thing. How's that working out? Is it, how, how's Hangouts these days, man? I, I mean, that. I mean, it it hasn't changed much since we were using it. Okay, has it gotten better? <laughs> it, it gets the job done, right? Like, okay, real talk, AGC. Uh, no agency. Ugh. Still? People, if you're making a WebRTC app, expose that to the end users because there are going to be the ones that don't need it and it never works, right? And it works horribly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. man, uh, Jitsi changed something in the Matrix. I'm playing around with a couple of things right now. This has been going on. You might have noticed it, especially during a live show. I normally cut it out with uh, my producer versions. You were like, did, 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 something like that. It's then Jitsi's like, your mic might be noisy. And I'm like, you just made the noise, Jitsi. It was on your end. I finally, after tracing everything in here down, I was like, nay, nay, you're responsible. So we're going to do uh, one or two things. First, me and Jordan are going to slather ourselves in networking mayonnaise and see if we can get uh, one uh, rainbow bridge resurrected on using the power of one of that old 8120. What? What was that old AMD? 8150. 8150. 8150, yeah. yeah. And the Canadian fiber internet, we're going to see Docker image. Docker images. We're going to Docker it. We're going to dock it. And if that doesn't work or if that's not successful, I am going not to put another kind of heat docking, exploding box into this room, which I want about as bad as I said Pedro wants to suck Jordan toes, but I didn't ask Pedro, so maybe. Show feet. Show feet. I don't know, man. <laughs> when you expose the webbing, you just might not be into it anymore. It helps me swim super fast, though. I hope you can appreciate that <laughs> as a port person. Dude, uh, <laughs> that's the thing. Looking forward to that. Got this in. Mbox Mini 2. The reason I bring this up, you might find yourself stuck at home. You might be like, hey, man, maybe uh, I got some extra time, you know, because, you know, I have to do work. And that's only going to take, um, you know, for some people, three hours, some people, 30 minutes. Maybe you want to get into this Twitch thing or this podcasting thing and you don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Something I've been putting together is a microphone interface combination for under $100. And I'll go ahead and tell you this right now because now I have both pieces of the kit. That's better hardware than either of these two beautiful people have, quality-wise, sound-wise, for under 100 bucks. So stay tuned for that. Uh, coming out Monday... 
for everyone is the cheapest MIDI adapter on eBay. And let's see if that works with Linux. That, that should be terrifying because MIDI adapters are squirrely. You don't know if they're Linux compatible. Horses, on the other hand. They're totally not Linux compatible, yeah. even if they're dead. Even if we've been beating them Aww. for, what, almost eight fucking years now? Yeah, it's the Steam Linux update of the week. Suck a picture's toes. Suck my toes, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, or maybe, Suck their toes. <laughs> or, or, or maybe you want to have some VR footsie attachment. Yeah, so um, Steam VR has uh, has a bit of an update, and lo and behold, we got we got some Linux fixes. Uh, apparently, there are some crashes being exposed via Half Life Alex. They have been fixed, and you know what? I you know I have to seriously give props to Valve for at least giving a shit because mm-hmm. there are like there are literally mm-hmm. like three people on Linux who use VR, and I know two of them. Yeah, I was about to say and, we know two of them, right? <laughs> and like they're actually providing support for them. That's pretty. That's a pretty solid move right there right like come on they don't, they didn't have to do that one of the things i was thinking about man i mean um they, they're, they're fixing bugs for people running proton I'm like yeah, yeah. all right yeah. good good but i still need to believe that there's a native linux version of alex floating around internally in valve it's gonna be running on vulgar and make all over all three of their dreams come true they did I, say I, that I, that would happen they later. did yeah and it's it, it's i mean it's our alex is already running on vulcan so it, I'm going to be looking for that. One thing I can say about Alex, though, is that it has gotten, I mean, it had the desired effect. There were like 40,000 um, people who were playing it. So people bought some I didn't know 40,000 people had bought uh, indexes, but we, I, yeah. no, well, so, no, it's not so, just so, index. It works with like the uh, previous the, and then it works with like uh, Oculus they stuff. The, they got yeah, the Vive yeah. and the Oculus. Yeah, too. no, the, 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 whole, the whole point of like the Steam VR stuff is that it wraps around. It doesn't matter what hardware you're using. It provides a consistent interface for all of that. Mm-hmm. So Valve, Valve was pretty smart to invest in that. And like people are liking the game. As my, I think my prediction was right. Like it turns out Valve can still make good games. Games. People, people seem to be enjoying it. They can. Um, maybe, maybe we'll see. I mean, I've watched up to. I, I know how it ends now, and then I know what the after credits says. Man, no, nope, no spoilers for anybody who haven't played it. But okay, you got my interest, Valve. You got my interest. But I still need to know why they haven't made Half Life Three. Man, my nipples crave Half Life Three, or at least uh, Half Life Two, Episode Three. You know, uh, after which, which? they ended the way it. That they ended, which I guess at this point the statute of limitations on that particular spoiler warning is already expired. What but, you're telling uh, me, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father? What? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no. Uh, Valve uh, explains why uh, we still don't have Half Life Three, and uh, um, this one that that looks a little Stranger Danger. <laughs> That that is one hundred percent Stranger Danger. G Man, G Man, the G stands for Stranger kind of Danger, right? Um, bad touch. Yes, uh, and it's uh, yeah, uh, one of the um, let's see, Dario Casali, one of the level designers for Half Life Two, uh, was interviewed with uh, or interviewed by IGN, and uh, he said that it's like, well, we were trying to like make a game, but a lot of people had different ideas and we were trying a bunch of different things and it never really worked out. So, uh, I think he said uh, our main takeaway from, uh, that is get some stable technology and then build a game on top of it. Mm -hmm. And I guess, uh, Half-Life 2 Episode 3 or Half-Life 3 for that matter, never really had any of those things. Valve, I dare you. Half-Life 3 Episode 2. Like I, like I said, they, they, they need to just go right to four. Right before. <laughs> yeah, uh, but, no, at but this like, point, it's but, not coming out. <laughs> but but I mean I mean like what what the guy says is valid. Like making custom tools for the job is all well and good, and until you get bogged down in tool maintenance and tool bloat and technical debt, and then you realize, hey, maybe we should have stabilized this first, and then mm-hmm. uh, and then actually made a product. But well, I mean whether or not that's actually what's keeping HL three from release, we'll we'll probably never know. Like I said, it's probably they probably have like nine or like three or four different like internal builds of like something that could be half. Life three oh, yeah. that just that just mm-hmm. never it didn't meet the quality controls or like the technology wasn't quite there or they were trying to do something that was a little too ambitious and th- they go back to the drawing board they realize i, I like we're we're, we're 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 used to having like people pump out like assassin's creed games every year or like fifa games every year and i think there is some benefit in like waiting and being patient so you're saying what we need is like half-life 2021 
Exodus. We... <laughs> yes. Epic exclusive. Dude, Epi- here's what Epi- I want to see. Exclusive. <laughs> DX12 all the way. It's the future. What I want to see is Half-Life 3 from the perspective of a head crab who has, you know, it's a coming of age story and he's seeking part vengeance, part closure on the crowbar wielding maniac who and he finds the love, first level level from and, 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 uh, and, and they find predator no and they, uh, and they find the love campaign? along the way <laughs> they find it, love along the way it's the perfect anti-hero anti-crustacean no uh, see it, it, it's it's got it's got to turn into like a twilight-esque romance where like the head crab like infests one of the scientists bitch. and then he falls in love with one of the other scientists at any point like, did i, I say i can't love you you're a head crab some See, at no point did I say that uh, the head crab didn't sparkle. I love that mute button, dude. Just, there we go. I can get a word out now. Easy. All right. Uh, Proton 5.4. Yes. The In this case, the glorious egg roll version. Uh, it's, uh, well, it's still based on uh, Wine 5.4, but this is the third revision dude, of it. Dude, what's up uh, with this? This isn't, this isn't like the 19th revision in two days it's the third one but oh, yeah okay. <laughs> uh the yeah no uh, they updated to the latest git uh because there were some fixes and updates to wine vulcan so that doom eternal would work fine and again doom eternal just making sure that proton is up to snuff I'm very happy with that um they've um besides the wine vulcan stuff they reverted back to f audio 2003 as uh, the newer versions had some audio issues. Uh, the Warframe controller patch was updated to limit it to just Warframe, so it doesn't interfere with any other games. It's, it's just for that one specifically, since it didn't really seem to make any difference. And the um, Proton-specific controller patches that we've grown to love, that you fire up a game in Proton and everything works, regardless of whichever controller you happen to be using. Those were disabled again in favor of the native wine ones because, well, uh, the apparently there were a couple of issues with games. I honestly uh, didn't experience any of the ghost button presses that Jordan. The we get, we got to talk about like the um, the real deal. Where are we at on egg rolls? They're delicious. Really, I like them. <laughs> Have you ever had an egg roll with an egg in it? Yeah, they're, that's what the... the no, 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 I know what they're bad, but, like, we could, okay, like, you, like, well, think, like, about this, like, think about this, think about this. With, Mc like, scrambled Ro- eggs? Egg McRoll with, like, Szechuan sauce. Egg McRoll, what? <laughs> okay, okay, break, break this down for me, then. What do you believe that, what do you believe the contents of the Egg McRoll is? Oh, List it. dude, I'll tell you exactly what it's going to be, man. It is going to be, like, thin slices of pancake with ham and eggs with syrup over the top. That sounds like something McDonald's would serve. Yeah, yeah. it's called the that egg McRoll. That just sounds like breakfast. All right. <laughs> no, yeah. I, mean, I mean, that that's just like a burrito form of like their pancake breakfast sandwich. Dude, they come in an eight pack. Yeah, it's a pancake burrito. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> Challenge eating. I'm, so. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying I wouldn't eat it, but you know. <laughs> it's better than breakfast pizza, man. Uh, we get a little bit of that, news. That, that, that's, that's a lie. Hey, that's man. Lie. Breakfast pizza. Black Mesa. We pizza. talked about it. I think it was last week. Co-op beta. And um, they're back. Well, he's back and with an update for new maps, lobby map selection, uh, difficulty selection. Didn't find that bug fixes. We found some new ones and uh, new graphics from Bowel Movement 1.0. Also, yeah, we, but- Pedro, I do believe we ran into um, hostile elevators as well. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, if you, apparently if you get a little too close to uh, the wall while you're riding down an elevator, you take damage mm-hmm. to the point that you will die. <laughs> you got to do a couple of things to get this running. A, you got to launch it in Proton. B, you have to enable the old game UI in Proton in order to get to the menu. C, you have to start a server, stop the server, then enter some glyphs into the console command to get that in. What else? You got to like select teams and... Yeah, you need to be on the same team, and then you need to hit the button at the same, the two buttons at the same time, and then a third button drops, and you hit that, and the map starts. This this seems this seems very convoluted. I was just like, oh, they added um, they added a score system so you can get like useless points or what I, what I call a half chub for just killing monsters and shit. It's I don't, I don't uh, <laughs> it's kind of interesting. If you want to see what the uh, byproduct of that is, uh, myself, Pedro, uh, Michael, and uh, Kyle Linux. We went for an outing yesterday, and we got through the yes. first couple of levels. It was it it had it had the just enough jink to keep things interesting. 
There was the junk to go around, including the deposing before you get the. We're everyone's deposing. We're all the, <laughs> we're, we're all the enemies like bullet sponges because they have to like adjust the damage to account for multiple players you or like extra enemies. You got yeah, extra enemies. They spawn in extra enemies. Yeah, because yeah. that, that's that's what synergy did was like you could unload like three or four clips into like dudes and they're like, <laughs> no, your damage is amortized across all of the players. You need. I, to I think we're gonna hang with it until uh, we like run out of levels, which probably won't take long. I think there's like 20 levels, so we'll probably be back at that next Friday if uh, time everybody's schedule or lines up. I mean, it can be an open thing. Like, also, I figured out how to put a password on it. Oh, oh cool. yeah, yeah <laughs> We don't get a uh, random developer. Yeah, yeah, we have like the random developer <laughs> uh, like pop in in the middle. He's like, somebody's playing. Boom, boom. But then he got in my way, so I just narked his ass with a crowbar real quick. He didn't come back after that. Um, he I, was on the opposing team, so it's like, oh, that's friendly fire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I didn't know. I was just saying hi. That's how I say hello to people with a crowbar. Oh, man. <laughs> for, for disgusting Freeman on Freeman violence. Mm -hmm. I'm in. I'm in. Mm. You right. are invited. What's up next? Uh, Deep Sky Derelicts Definitive Yay. Edition. Definitive Deficien. I don't know. Uh, it's 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 out. Um, if you are, if you already own the game, then you get all the content updates. But the Definitive Edition bundles uh, all the DLC together so that you get one big game that you can purchase oh. if you don't already own it. Um, the balance fix. Uh, they they've also tweaked some of the balance. It's kind of appreciated because when I was playing it, there were a couple stages where like, yeah, the, fuck your action economy. Here's six dudes. They're just going to destroy you because they do more things around than you do. Uh, and there's not much you can do. Um, so yeah, that's, that's available right now. We're going to throw some chairs at it uh, later on in the show. Yeah, so you no, it, it's like, oh, the definitive it. edition is out. Sounds like a good excuse to finally put it back on the uh, chopping block. <laughs> If you want yeah, a it, behind the scenes they're, they're, update. They're, they're, yeah, it's that, that's been, been there on there twice. like two, three times. That yeah. they're like, no, I'm, I, e either something else has come out, or Ben's like, I don't want to play another turn-based RPG. Oh, this is even <laughs> worse. I had to buy it. This was in like a bundle, though. Like, it wasn't mm, in a bundle, yeah. Not one that interested me in the slightest. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. It was uh, oh, but, more on that in the chairs. So say you don't like buying appliances. I what love buying you? appliances. Do you, though? I'm an appliance-buying motherfucker. Uh, watch Half-Life. Alex being played without VR. Why? Because reasons. Deal with it. I'm kind of happy that this is there. Um, this is from PC Gamer. And they're like, yo, man, really? We can't load YouTube? It's a Twitch. That was Twitch? Fine. I did yeah. allow Twitch. Nope. No love. Maybe it it's gone. Anyway. <laughs> it, it's Twitch. So what is this? Uh, there's apparently tools built in. To kind of help with the Valve did a really good job uh, for streamers with Alex. Mm -hmm. they, they gave a really nice tool set for like the help, you know, get it down to one eye and it's more cropped in and they get some balancing out. So, you know, people at home aren't like, oh, my tummy hurts, you know, people who can handle motion blur blah, and the like. But uh, I think uh, this uh, beautiful, enterprising human being has got it down to, you know, workable because this video apparently just doesn't exist anymore unfortunately and mm -hmm. uh, you'd be able to take advantage of some of those tools and apparently he is to turn alex into a first person shooting off oh you, something that you can play S with a mouse a gerbil S and a keyboard sort of sort of kind of i mean like th they have the fake vr test lag which allows you to spoof a bunch of the inputs that you would uh get for like vr headsets and whatnot and the the thingy controllers but uh, that said, Alex is pretty clearly designed for VR, uh, so there's going to be probably quite a bit of massaging that needs to be done to sort of make it work with the standard keyboard and WASD approach. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to see like what kind of progress they made. Like Ben said, there's a, uh, there's a streamer option that allows you to like play this on like a single screen without like having the per eye vision. So that might that might actually be the way to get that. Uh, working on just a single monitor. Here's a real I question, know. like a non-joking around. Um, can pirates experience VR? Yar. Yar, matey. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe. How, do, how is it going to work with like a hook in like the one eye with a patch? Probably. You know, um, you know, you can, you, you know, you can probably get like one of those Vive accessories that is just like a hook. <laughs> I want to see this. <laughs> I want this. 
<laughs> and, 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 and like a Polly that sits on your shoulder. Damn you, Jordan. Now I want an index. <laughs> oh, I'm just slashing around the house, knocking holes in my Yar, <laughs> I am a pirate. And then like you. Even Valve yeah, person you, saying that he's looking forward to mods that remove the VR requirement. Hey, Valve. No, no, How no. About you just, I, I don't you know, think you, uh, you're not picking that. up what he's laying down. He's like, no, I enjoy people doing that for us. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I mean, Valve is well within the right to say like this. This is a VR game. We mm -hmm. added modding support, so if you want to strip out the VR stuff, go nuts. But we're not going to do that for you. This is this mm -hmm. is not the game that we. This is not the game that we made. Right. If you want, if you want to turn that into the game that you want, feel free. It'll be interesting to see if they can adapt it back. And uh, cool. That's the thing. Yes. Oh, this Pedro's Babby game, one he loves so much. Dead cells, yeah, more like dead smells. Am I right? Mm. They got they got they got a brand new update. It's update eighteen, and the big news here is they got a Blob Freeman uh, model, which is actually a more accurate portrayal than Gordon Freeman on the HL box because that was con that the 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 beardy guy is confirmed to not actually be Gordon Freeman. You never actually see his face in the, the game. The beardy guy. The beardy guy. Yeah, this guy is just a dude with a blob for a head. Dude, uh, okay, also did, did they go like 100% and like uh, throw in, you know, um, you know, what's his name? The G-Man. I don't think they threw in the G-Man. Oh, he's not I, like G-Man's the not there. They just they, changed they, they, the skit of the main character to have, uh, you know, oh, like the orange suit. It, it, it looks like the Look head. Look at them the legs, girlfriend. Weapon. Clean. <laughs> they got legs and know how to use them to shoot arrows. I don't know, man. I gotta go back. Uh, did they ever like unfuck their Linux builder? Is it still recommended to? Uh, oh, oh no, it, it's still there's just jank. Oh, <laughs> that's a damn shame. Because if you get a Steam controller, you can go fuck yourself. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Nice, dude. You know we complain about games, uh, you know busted games and games that never showed up. But you know what? We don't need Street Fighter Five anymore, baby. We don't. Nay. Hey? We don't. Oh really? Uh -uh. Yeah. We we, we, <laughs> we got, got Kings Spirit of Fighters, baby. Wow. Oh. Yeah. A casual fighting game with controls that are easy to use and various move combinations. And then look at this juggernaut. And the same animation for all the different <laughs> character models. Yeah. Dude. This, this, this looks like some XBLA shit. Man. This shit is so advanced. That's Your eyes just can't comprehend it, man. There's too many frames. There's too much motion. Your brain's no, just that's seizing. The thing. They're the exact same frames for all the different characters. Oh, no, no, no. no. This, is, this is next Love I, I, I like that. I like that creepy dead eye. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a little, okay. Let's see some more hot punching action. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. I, I mean, what, what's great about this is this isn't even early access. This is this. Is oh no, this is done. Oh, no, this, this is done. This is out. Yeah. This, this <laughs> is currently twenty five percent off regularly six ninety nine. But you can have no. this treasure for five twenty four. Spirit no, fighters. No, no, no online multiplayer though. Which is I a little disappointing. Know. Responsive stages optional. Maybe <laughs> I don't know. Um, what does it take to run this beast? Um, Some fifty Ti and uh, okay, that's thing. Modest requirements like the Unity game that it is. All right, cool. <laughs> that game is an insult to Unity. <laughs> that's it. That okay, Unity. You've made it too easy. <laughs> Dial it yeah. back up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay hey man there's been an update for hyperlight drifter no this one is called uh resolution mm, no i'm clearly uh, looking at hyperlight drifter it looks very hyperlight driftery i wonder if the uh person uh behind hyperlight drifter heart machine had anything to uh input with this one well no this but, is mind uh, with the minds and yeah again i'm looking at hyperlight drifter here like level it's, design, yes. pixel design, a color it, scheme. It, yeah. It's pretty close. I gotta say though, that walk animation is hilarious. It looks like he has to poop himself. Oh no. Poop. Yeah, no, the like the color scheme and the uh pixel art is tree, very high. Down to the pixel tree. tree. Like that Yeah. And it, I, the, the planned release uh planned release date they say is twenty twenty, so it's not out yet. But uh, I am curious because no matter where I looked, it's like um heart machine? Did 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 you have anything to do with this? Maybe just as like a designer input contractor well, type of situation? Possible. Well so so I mean if you're if you're gonna crib a visual style I would say Hyperlight Drifter has one of the, like the stronger ones out there. 
So yeah. like, yeah, it, it, it can, it can be an HLD ripoff, but is it a good ripoff? That's, that's the question. Like if you are, if you are a fan of Hyperlight Drifter and this like, sure, it's another person who made it, but it just provides you more of what you wanted in the first place. Cause you wanted more Hyperlight Drifter. Why, why not? Possibly this, this is like, um, dangerously cheesy though. This is, uh, like, cause I a, saw a, a little bit, I, I saw a lot of people playing, uh, what is it? Like, is it already two? Or or, or yeah, the, the Will of the Wisps, and yeah, the, yeah, yeah, right. Which I'm like, I'd love to play that, but I'm not buying a Windows game. And uh, but like when they opened the map, and I was like, that's when I started calling the game. Oh, look, it's not Hollow Knight, the sequel. And uh, mm-hmm. I thought that was like dangerously close. This, yeah, w- where do we draw the line at? Like inspired by, and like this just looks like some DLC for the main game. Because if I showed anyone, and I do mean anyone, just screenshots from this game, you're like, oh yeah, it's Hyperlight Drifter. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I I I don't know. We'll 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 see if there's any sort of incoming lawsuit, or maybe or for all we know, maybe the hyperlight drifter guy's like yeah, completely cool. cool with it. Yeah, yeah. He's like yeah, yeah. Right on. Hey man, we're not. Uh, I'm not throwing accusations. I'm just saying, man, that looks a lot. I'd like to know like the inspiration. Call me. We'll talk. <laughs> uh that's not the only pixel. Shit. No, there's the Ooh. Mists of Noia, which is um. It's it's basically like uh it's fantasy terraria. They they have um they actually have a couple new posts that were kind of interesting about um them missing two of their deadlines. One about COVID nineteen and also a very very strange post about the differences between online and LAN multiplayer. It's pretty clear that these guys uh, do not are not like uh, native English speakers, uh, but. The, the idea is like you, you run around, you raid dungeons, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You can join other pl- players' games. It seems to be like a little bit more of an exploration focused terraria and less more less of like a base building crafting. Oh, you can yeah. give a sword a hand job. I mean you, you can always give a sword a hand job. <laughs> okay. It's got fun. Stroke that blade. Uh... It uh it, it is an early access and you can't buy it yet because of the aforementioned deadline missing. But yep. so that's that's kind of a Kind of a mass sign. Uh, they are providing a Linux version, though. They're recommending 14.04 and uh, any kind of. They're using whatever can... the default is. Gotcha. Yeah, that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know that that video card that comes default with every Linux. Yes, you don't even have to install two Linux. Just one. That'll be fun. <laughs> All right. Uh, last but not least. Oh uh, no, we, we 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 got we got we got two more. This is Damn Legend it. of the Keepers. Yeah. Um yeah, uh <laughs> which Steam really wants me to watch the developer to play this, but I really don't. Nope. So go go. We're trying to make that a thing, Steam. You just it, get on people's nerves. Yeah, it's, uh, no one likes auto playing video. Um, but you know, it's a dungeon keeper game. Dungeon keeper games have never really been of interest to me. Like, despite what? being a lifelong DM, it just feels like work at this point. I don't know. Mm. Um, so this this one adds some roguelike elements because it gives you a bunch of different dungeons you need to manage. Uh, that are randomly okay. Explain generated. the difference to me though. Like, what's the difference like being a dungeon keeper game and like the shit we're playing this week? Uh, so this one, this one, you're playing all the monsters and setting all the traps and like an AI group of heroes will go through and you want to, you want to, it's like a tower defense game. Almost. I might. Yeah. Okay. I, hmm, I'm after that. All right. Yeah. And like the, 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 the whole point is like laying traps and placing monsters and like picking things that are explicitly that the, the AI party is explicitly weak to. Um, yeah, there's also a, an external progression track so you can get stronger and stronger and more effectively manage these dungeons. I don't know. It's it's thing. If you like Dungeon Keeper, it's available. It's a little pricey at twenty two ninety nine Canadian for an early access game, but that's kind of what they're charging for these sorts of games these days. I don't know. If you like Dungeon Keeper and you were not a fan of mobile games, this seems to be one that is, you know, not a mobile game. <laughs> <laughs> And the way it's laid out, it's, uh, well, it, it actually reminds me a lot of the game we're throwing chairs at this week. You have, like, the I don't 2D know, plane I dungeon mean, crawlery type thing. Uh, I mean, this this one looks fun. Ooh. Shots Ooh. fired. You're not going to well, have fun with it, Once then. it's out of but, early access, we'll let you know. But not since we were graced uh, by the ultimate game ever reviewed. <sighs> Secret. Michael Jackson? The Magic Crystal. No. Oh my god, ponies, multiplayer, online, enchanted edition. 
No, no, there's, oh, there's, no, there's, this there's is no, Dirt there's... Rally, but with horses. It's Horse Racing Rally. And uh, they claim it's a free 3D uh, racing game. Wait, I, I love this. Uh, although free it costs 3D racing £1.69. Yeah, yeah. That's what I put in the notes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and it's the most realistic 3D but, horse racing game. You know, Pedro. It's yeah. the what? Steam! Pedro, you can hate all you want, but look, it has horse boost. I mean, I mean, is that Look, where you stick a I'm carrot up I'm looking at butt? that trailer, and the first thing that popped into my head was Daytona USA for the Sega Saturn. It's Cruising. got that same level of jank. Yeah. <laughs> horse boost. Fuck you. Horse boost. But, but yeah, no, like uh, the with lifelike horse animations, immersive graphics, Yay. addictive gameplay, and heated competition horse riding. Why do you rally. have a health bar? That leads me to think there might be some melee in this. Oh, dude, if you could, like, whip other riders with the crop, that would be amazing. I'd be down with that. Or like, <laughs> That'd be the, the best game ever. Horse damage. It's like, you made a horse riding game, and it turned out a bit shit, and you put it on Steam. You could just say that in the oh. blurb, I'll respect you more for it. Oh, dude, what if, what if there was, like, Mario Kart shit, and, like, if you ran over one of the things, it gives you a gun, and you can just shoot <laughs> the other horses? And, you, and your broke ass better not try to play this with a 2010 Intel Core i5. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do it. 2011 oh, only in this house. <laughs> These horses have standards. I, I, I mean, maybe, I, maybe if you got the free version, you could do 2010, but... Possibly. Uh, apparently, the reviews are all positive, which uh, leads me to believe that... Uh, None of them are real. Got, like, 12 all friends 12 of to them. Go. Very, very nice and interesting <laughs> game. Very nice and fun. Uh -huh. you, very, you can read every single horse. review and go, look, there's a list of body counts, Valve. Ta da yep. Yes. Right. Get out. Chop, Indeed. chop. <laughs> Indeed. All right. Coming up next, Twitch is going to ban your ass. Twitch is going to ban our ass. Yay. And then we're going to get on a train and go to, I don't know. Where, where, where can you get on a train and go to these days? Nowhere. That was a chalky uh, Steam segment that we just had, and I managed to Can we have a chalky right Steve there. segment? <laughs> I yeah, mean, we, no, we, we got to feed Steve a lot of spaghetti. Segment. Extra chalky. <laughs> Listen, if, if you, if you, if you want to pay for Steve's spaghetti diet, you can head on over to linuxgamecast.com. Mouse your, mouse your cursor We can't call it the spaghetti incident. That's been taken. <laughs> we, we, can, we can call it the bull and That's already incident. taken. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. head on over to linuxgamecast.com. Put your mouse over the support button. Follow some of these links. Uh, they're great. You can get PayPal. You can get Bitcoin. You can get um, LibrePay. All sorts of cool stuff, but if you want to get all the cool stuff, you can head on over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. That gives you neat stuff like access to our Discord channel, early show note access, the ability to suggest and participate in the construction of the show, which is kind of neat. Our Theron does that quite a bit, giving us lots and lots of stories to cram in there. Um, yep. And you, you also get, if you show up uh, early on uh, Saturday mm -hmm. in the aforementioned Discord channel, 730, you can listen to the pre-pre Super Shows, which is uh, production meeting slash TV show bitching podcast yeah. slash yeah no mostly script. TV show bit mostly TV show bitching podcast. Um, <laughs> Let's be perfectly honest. Uh, it's kind of one of those things like just don't narc us out and you can listen. All right. Yeah, pretty yeah. much. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you get, you get access to that, and you even get the uh, some sometimes there are vods, sometimes there aren't, depending on what Ven's doing. But you do get a custom RSS feed for the audio version, so that's pretty neat. We got a store. Store.linuxgamecast.com. Buy yourself a t-shirt. Buy yourself some stickers. Yeah. Buy yourself a coffee mug. I'm wearing my Use Me shirt. Oh, you are? Stand uh, up. Let's get a look at that. I haven't mm, seen a good picture of it. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Mm, Have you That's gotten, nowhere um, near as tight as we were expecting, but all right. <laughs> have, have you gotten a single question about it? I don't. I've worn it in public once, and that was at scale. Then I went in quarantine, and I haven't gone outside oh, since. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, so, yeah, um, so we got, can we, got any, can, we, got can we get anyone to like follow you around with the camera? Cause I'm thinking if you have that shirt and a like half eaten stick of butter and we do a man on the street where you just walk around and I try to interview people with the stick of butter. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and also, also there's an XLR cable coming out of the bottom of the stick. No, there's an XLR <laughs> and I'm periodically taking bites out of the stick and asking them questions. <laughs> and fucking in their face. Start rubbing it, drawing on your face. It'll be brilliant. <laughs> yeah, Wait, no, yeah. you can do that with a lipstick in your other hand. 
<laughs> Goodbye, horse. Okay, you know what? We, 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 got, we got an Amazon store as well. If you want to mm. know what we use hardware-wise yep. to put together the show, you can check it oh, out. Yeah. It's all, it, all, it all works on Linux. We also got wish lists if you want to contribute uh, to the studios that we're building up here. And if you do that, uh, you can see John's username flashing behind Ven's face. You too can get added to the flashy wall of flashiness. The fuck wall. Fuck well, Frank's on holiday this week. He's in, uh, what do you call it, self-isolation. He's like, hey, man, you never take a break, so I'm going to take a break. Fuck you. And I was like, wait a minute. And then I thought it through. I got fucked over. He'll be back next week, though. He's a cagey okay. bitch like that sometimes. But hey, man, and thanks, everybody, who makes this possible. We do it ad-free, and it's not cheap, but you let us. So we're going to keep on rocking on, rocking on. Is that what we do? We rock on with our interview, interview about her? We rock on with our socks on? Sure. An interview Except about her. I'm 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 not wearing any socks, but I am wearing butter. Keep I'm going. wearing socks, but uh, <laughs> you should butter your socks. No, we start off the news with a bit of uh, Epic Games for some reason, Celebrate. and uh, Epic Games is now a third-party multi-platform mm. publisher. <clears throat> Whatever the hell that means. Oh, it means consoles. That's it what it means. They're full of spiders. Pretty much, means they're full, and, they're full um, of money. So, uh, Epic Games is now basically purchased or uh, the hostile takeover style all over a couple of uh, different studios. All right, that's Namely, a little strange. The, that's a little out of character for Epic. That, no, really? Oh. Uh, and okay. um, the <laughs> developers behind Max Payne, Limbo, and Shadow of the Colossus, uh, their names, you can find them in the article, but those are the games that everyone <laughs> will minute, recognize. What? I'm confused. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, so there's, that, okay, okay. So just in D and D. All right. Where's all right. this going? That's just Tim um, showing no, himself that's, off. That's that, Sam. No, that, that from Remedy. Okay, so it's 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 just showing off uh, all the people for who um, <laughs> they yeah. wrote checks to. Who, Got who, it. Who? Yeah. Exactly. Pretty much. Um, okay. And so there are a couple of uh, yeah. Those three uh, studios will now be uh, sharing their revenue. About 50%-ish, uh, according to the uh, statements that were officially <clears throat> released. 50% of the profits once uh, everything is paid back, because Epic will say that they will fund um, anyone who uh, wants to be published by them. They will fund all of the development costs, and once those costs are recouped, uh, the studio will get a 50% cut of the game that they made. Dude, I'm just so, imagining Tim Sweeney with a pipe wrench, like going after developers who don't pay up, breaking yeah. the caps. Honestly, it could be worse. buy them out, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it could it could very well be worse because none of those studios specifically have ever put out a Linux game except um, Limbo, the ones behind Limbo. Mm. But let's not forget that Limbo originally, when it came out in the uh, Humble Indie Bundle Four. Mm -hmm was a wine job well okay here, here's my favorite memory of limbo was the developer posting it it might have been in like our linux back in and he's like yeah so i'm thinking about you he's like oh I, is that something i should not have done I'm like yeah it's something you shouldn't have done you well, done goofed I, I, on that one <laughs> I, I i mean i mean now proton is a thing so you know i mean ultimately it's still a better love story than gianna sisters that's true. Um, that's the thing. Uh, Proton has nothing to do with the developers. Valve made that very clear. It's like, you have an issue with Proton, you come to us. You don't go to the developers. They had fuck all to do with this. It's us. This so, this yeah. is an interesting <laughs> thing, man. I mean, this, you how do you keep up the momentum of, you know, starting your own publishing thing? And because this, I don't see Linux ports of anything coming out from any of the... Um, well, developers that, that, signing up. That, that's that's why they gave Strider twenty five k, right? Like, get Lutris to the point where we don't have to support developers supporting Linux, right? I don't well, see mm -hmm. any Linux ports coming out of Epic. Exa exactly, because that that that's that's what Lutris is for. And I, just that sphere of influence, man. Let's focus only on the Windows. And Microsoft is like, hey, man, we're doing all this other stuff. We're not just not bringing system with just Windows. And, um, hmm. Oh yeah, no. T t Tim Tim's perspective on you know OS dominance and like oh we're really against Microsoft having a monopoly, but we're not going to do anything about it. Mm -mm. Nope. No mm -mm. no no. We're no, going to keep using Microsoft's platform. We're, we're, we are going Good to job, shake Tim. our fingers at them and continue <laughs> to make money. Thanks, Gabe. So, 
Keep yeah. being cool, unlike Tim. Hey, <laughs> something that has, uh, like, really, this wasn't a thing, which I, it's a little bit of Twitch news because we know some of you were on Twitch and some of you stream to Twitch, but Twitch has implemented stronger banning and blocking measures. Toxic users. Okay. Basically, if you nuke somebody from orbit right now, A, wonders never cease. This is about five years too late. But if you nope hammer somebody, they can no longer read your chat. That's pretty much it. They will get unsubscribed if they're currently a sub, and it removes them from your followers list. And this is being done by IP. So, you know, I guess you could VPN your way around this. But if you're going through or, that, those kind of links, man, could- I'm just going to say... Dude, um, you might want to uh, go back and reflect on what you got going on in your life. However, I will say ultimately at the end of the day for me, the best part about all of this was watching some of the screechy reread, the aforementioned toxicity in the comment section. Just going, I was unfairly banned and I, now I can't VPN around. I'm like, wow, these people do exist. Huh. Well, I, I mean, you don't even need to VPN. You can unplug your modem. Wait 15 seconds. And you plug would it back think in. that DHCP leases are long tooth now, baby. I don't know. Cause like every time I get it, every time there's a power outage in the building, I get a new IP. So yeah, but you're on fiber, dude. And you're probably on your, your G pond is probably locked. Fiber words, know. Pedro, you got any thoughts on this? <laughs> are we going to start banning people? Honestly, it was about them time Twitch. Uh, like the amount of, bots uh shilling out for channels and just going into other channel streams and massively spamming them while they're live that shit needs common to legitimate question i saw to um twitch when they posted this on twitter where streamers like yo how do i mass ban the ten thousand bots that are following me yeah no <laughs> like shrug emoji wait another five years i don't know yeah, no, it, there, there is, you have the tools to figure out which of those followers and which of those people that are using your platform are a human. Well, yeah. The hell? Well, we, 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 were, we were talking about that earlier, too, because, like, IPs are kind of an unreliable way of banning people. But yeah. it's Amazon, right? They have their global advertising network and all the metadata about everyone. They can They can pretty easily fingerprint you. Mm-hmm. I'm surprised they're not doing something like that, but like Ben said, maybe in five years. Don't hold your breath. Hey, man, did they ever have the alcoholic adult beverage, totally not for kids, called Four Loco in Canada? I don't remember because I wasn't drinking energy drinks at the time. I remember hearing about it, yeah. but I don't remember like going to a store and like buying a Four Loco. <laughs> maybe that's because I drank a Four booze. Loco and it killed my brain. Possibly. Um, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, but there, 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 there's for those of you who don't want to destroy your brain and just want to go on trains, there's Open Loco. Uh, it is. It is an open source implementation of Chris Sawyer's Locomotion, which was a uh, game from before the era of train simulators, where instead of managing trains, you manage entire transport networks. Um, this is a re-implementation of one of those games from 2004, and it has some bug fixes, and still no working but multiplayer or tutorial, but that is on the roadmap. Hmm. So, I mean, we're, we're, we're always happy to promote uh, open source re-implementations. Yeah, man. It's a great, it's a great way to preserve yep. games that people love that will not run on modern hardware. This has got that old school pretty tools. look to it too, right? Oh yeah. All, all, all the sprite work is really nice. Yeah. Dude, yeah, I, I, I'm um, down with this. Go ahead. Transport and building management sims always have that really hardcore niche to them. So Yeah. Hey, more of that, please. <laughs> choo-choo trains are people's jams. I don't know if you've ever run across a train person, but... Oh, they, they're real, and they dude, they love trains. Dude, history. They they're like, the, you want to come see my photo collection knob. of trains? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, or, or, or the huh. train model enth- the enthusiasts who have, like, the entire tracks that you are, know, like, I've automated. never met one of those IRL. I've, I've had two or three people I, that are, they, I, I, they I, travel to one. go see a train. Like, ooh, and it's Slot going to run car today. racing enthusiasts. <laughs> that have yeah. a basement that's just a massive slot car track that you actually have to physically turn around to keep your eye on the oh, car. Oh, those are shut in <laughs> alcoholics. Um, <clears throat> that's really I mean, cool. I, I mean, yeah, but like, what, yeah. what are you going to do? Hey, man. What, don't judge. Go to port. <laughs> yeah. What? 
Yeah, so uh, Unknown Horizons is a game. It's a sailing exploration game, kind of like uh, Windward. Um, it's an office I, application. Ha! I, had you going for a minute. Didn't I? I, 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 actually, no, it's a city builder that was once upon a time built on the Fife engine, which was a TD yep. isometric game engine similar to Open Loco. But, 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 but. I checked the Git repo. That has not been updated in two years. Mm -hmm. These guys are like, yo, man, we don't want to base our code off of an unsupported, you know, framework. So we're just going to move to Godot. And, you know, that that's a good thing when it comes to making 2D games. <laughs> yes. Godot is a really <laughs> solid option that just works. Um, so good on them for that. Uh, more games should be using Godot. And it's Love good to it. see that open, open source projects are migrating to it. And once they realize that, hey, it's a good framework and it's being maintained and used by people. Oh, <gasps> mm hmm. That's really cool, man. I'm so down with that. Uh, get out, dude. Is there anything it can't do? VR. Damn it. I knew you were going to hit me with that. <laughs> Every time. So yeah. it's great for Linux, is what you're saying. Yeah. It's Linux yeah. compatible. Um, <laughs> tell me about Free Surf, though. What the hell is that? All right. Free, free Surf is uh the we're we're, we're 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 this is just like the city builder segment of the, yeah. the news segment now. yeah like, it is. Oh, oh, listen oh, we, we oh, haven't we haven't city been, been city building heavy for you know a couple of months uh, getting it all up yeah with that. but uh so this is a re-implementation of the settlers which is an old amiga city uh builder god game oh, sure. uh they're doing it in dotnet so it works with mono yeah i don't like dotnet as a linux platform but you know what it works microsoft has done an okay job with that um but yeah um free surf was a, I, I did a little bit of research on that because i'm like i've never i've never heard of settlers one and apparently it was really well received like it was pretty advanced as far as amiga yep. strategy games mm. go so uh people people were big fans of it and it's good to see that this is being preserved on modern platforms. that looks amiga doesn't it it just that, yeah it yeah. does and uh, they do yeah. say that they do plan to make the open source re-implementation work with the Amiga files, but it doesn't currently. You still need the uh, DOS files. So I just want to know, uh, okay, what, 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 what shame was being hid behind this blur <laughs> up top in the screenshot? Mm. Mm. Uh, th that's just Windows 7. It, it, it does that. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. It, it's got huh. the blur behind the transparency. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? Yeah, I, uh, it, listen, Windows Seven doesn't have wobble, wobbly windows either. So, like that—that you know, that yeah. could be a complete lie that both of you just told me. And and like, yeah, okay, that sounds legit. I, 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 I believe it. <laughs> that sounds it's, dumb it's enough. But, uh, yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, cool. All right. Coming Last version up of next. Windows I ever used. So. The Amiga OS. Anyways, we're throwing chairs at Deep Sky Derelicts. Definitive Ooh. edition. Duh, 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 duh. Welcome back to the Chairquisition, where you don't get to be crushed by a series of CRT monitors of increasingly heavy mass, but you do get to see a game survive trial by Fedora Neon and Debian, and then we can tell if it's fun or not. This week we're taking a look at Deep Sky Derelicts by Snowhound Games, done on Unity. Uh, what is it? Deep Sky Derelicts is an original combination, turn-based strategy, and RPG enriched with tactical card combat and popular roguelike elements to explore derelict alien ships, fight, loot, and upgrade your deal, all in a distinctive retro-futuristic comic book aesthetic style. You can pick it up for about 20 bucks uh, for the definitive edition that comes with all the DLC. Um, so mm -hmm. get some other stuff with that. Uh, we bought this game via bundles or individually, so no mandatory disclosure for you. Not you a get one. our yep. full opinion. So how, yeah, how, you how, do. How, How's it run on Debian, Ven? Oh, boy. I love these games, you guys. It's awesome. <laughs> mm. Ladies and gentlemen, over here on Debian Stale, Debian 10, Debian Buster, you know it, you love it, on a Threadripper 1920X with 32 gigabytes of RAM sporting a 2060 displayed at UHD. Technically, the game is sound as a pre-Brexit pound, baby. It launches in the correct monitor, the mouse and keyboard, the inputs, they work, it runs at... 60 at 2160p. Those are all factual statements. Now, on to the subjective. Because why do you people keep buying the same damn game? It's deck building, turn based, spreadsheet, simulation, bullshit. That's what it is. You know, I, it's like I got to play this, man. So I grabbed a tablet with the latest episode of Star Trek Picard. Because I was going to need something to do while I was playing this nonsense, because it's not enough to keep me entertained all by itself. But I'm not picking on Deep Sky Derelicts. None in particular. No, I'm not. It's, it's simply that, like, within 10 minutes, I knew exactly what the game would deliver for me, man. 
And you know what? It did. You know, quests, leveling, buffs, debuffs, permadeath, exploring mechanics, and a healthy dose of orange Jesus. So, but hey, man, hey, each to their own, right? Right? Because for me, just for me, I'm going to say I'd have to squint really hard to see the difference between games and this genre. See the difference in them. It's like, this is all the same game with different texture packs on it. Except for Manos, Hannah Fate, 1 and 2. Shout out to Defiant, my brothers and sisters, for mixing in a little bit of combat. I enjoyed those more so than your typical uh, this, this game. But at the end of the day, you know what? You lot keep buying the same games for the same reasons I eagerly await the next Spectacle Brawler. Because you fucking love them, it's your fucking jam, and you know what? There's nothing wrong with that, man. You know, my purpose in this particular trick acquisition is merely to inform those like myself, Deep Sky Derelicts, is only guilty of one thing. And that one thing is doing exactly what it promised to do, what it said to do. Said it does. On the tin. So, you know what? Deep Scott Derelicts is not here to change your mind. It's not here to change your heart, sway your opinion. It's here to deliver what fans of this weird-ass genre crave, man. And apparently it does a good job with it. But, hey, it's not for me. I bought it. I'll keep it around. Maybe it'll surprise me one day. But if you're in my camp, you don't get this, this isn't going to change your mind. I wouldn't say one chair on that because I'm being honest, man. So on uh, Fedora 3064-bit with the i7-6700K with the mitigations turned on and the GTX 1080 Ti, which I will run into the ground forever. Yeah, it launches. It runs at 60 or whatever resolution you run it at, and things happen when you click on them, which is pretty bare bones, but it's what this game needs. Yeah, so whenever we whenever we have to like review a racing game, I'm like, why do people keep buying the same game over and over? You just run around a track again and again and again. Why not just get into a real car and drive? I, I've Whatever. It's it. So deep Sky Derelicts. It's a pretty solid dungeon crawler. It's based on the Darkest Dungeons play the Spire formula. Uh, you got a limited supply of energy to restrict your movements and the total number of fights you can realistically get into because that's what recharges your shields. And you explore through abandoned spaceships and space stations. Um, I like the gear and the modular le- and module and the leveling system because it's a good way to spread out advancement over a couple different tracks. So you always feel like you're getting something. You can always tweak and tune. Um, and they all actually impact the same things, which are the number of cards in your deck, the types of cards in your deck, and the stats that the cards are based off of. Um, so really all that means is it gives you ample opportunity to min-max your dudes and try to uh, kill as much as possible, as efficiently as possible, because you don't want fights to drag on because they eat your energy. And you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna need some cheese because like some of these fights they do not give a shit about your action economy they will give you five guys versus your three guys and you will just get nope. slaughtered unless you have ways to stun people and move them back in initiative and make sure that oh, they no, don't get awesome to take their turn. like two shot your main guy and you're like okay <laughs> yeah that, that this, this is where the min maxing stuff comes in um so one one gripe I do have about the game is the exploration. So Darkest Dungeon does it really, really well because it gives you it shows you the environment that you exist in. You have to walk through it. There are traps, there are obstacles. It feels grueling. You can see your the light dim as you run out of torches. Um and it really it really feels like you're trudging through these old ruins trying to like survive. In this game, you're you're a little blue light on a grid. And that is certainly more roguelike in that regard, but I do feel you're missing a bit of the atmosphere, especially because like all the rooms and all the artists like super well done. The characters have a nice Mike Mignola you feel. If you're a big fan of like Hellboy or BPRD, you're gonna really like the art style here. And I think I think it works really really well for like sci-fi cosmic horror. Uh, but the backgrounds they're just like they're host of the Final Fantasy style fights and the occasional search interact buttons. I really would like to see some more in-depth exploration in Deep Sky Derelicts too. I get that the spaceships are huge and the energy management thing is the hu- is the thing. But again, like I said, I feel you lose a lot of the atmosphere there. Other than that though, I enjoyed it for what it is. Uh, if you like roguelikes, if you like dungeon crawlers, then this is a fun little sci-fi twist on it. I will give it three chairs. Yep. And over here, uh, it launches and it holds a solid 144 FERPs on the... Um, Ryzen 7 3700X and the GTX 1080. Good on Unity. They actually managed to get that 
particular bit of a high refresh rate uh, thing down. Uh, honestly, functionally speaking, my only complaint is that sometimes enemies will obscure other enemies. That may or may not be intentional, but it's like, I would like to target that enemy that's behind the really big enemy. No, I can't. All right, fine, whatever. Also, when exploring a derelict, uh, if you click near the edges of the PDA while you're trying to explore, it sometimes doesn't register, which is a bit weird, but whatevs. Uh, as for the fun, yeah, this is absolutely my jam. It's a roguelike deck builder along the lines of Darkest Dungeon with a bit more FTLE setting and very much the deck building is uh, very much in line with um, Slate Aspire, like Jordan mentioned. And I can safely say that I much prefer Deep Sky Derelict to either of those other three that I mentioned just Blasphemy. now. Blasphemy! Uh, I do. I, I really Blasphemy. do. It's not as... Cursed! It's not, Shame! It's, it's not as hard and unforgiving as Darkest Dungeon, and you always have a bit more to do uh, than FTL, and the whole setting and the way that the game itself is presented is far more interesting than in Slate Aspire. So, yeah, and uh, contrary to Jordan's opinion, I happen to like the exploration. It's... Uh, Okay, it's not the best presentation, but the game is very happy to reward you for exploring without, you know, dicking you over for stopping mid-mission to go back to the station and get healed like Darkest Dungeon likes to do. I very much like this one. I'll give it four chairs. <laughs> all right, well, there you go. If your name is Venstone, you'll hate it. Otherwise, it's all right. <laughs> well, I mean, it's yeah. an You know, a fair point. Um... The argument definitely could be made for, like, hey, man, racing games. Like, well, ah, they're all the same game, which is true. But, I mean, again, like this, to me, they're all the same. But people like them. What I like to do, and like's a strong word, what I can tolerate is, like, watching you and Sandy or somebody else play this game when you get into it. And I'm like, okay, I get it. I, I get it. I, it's a spectator sport for me. But, yeah, it's like when you get to, like, juggling with... And, uh, and again, that, I'm that, that, RNG. That, that's that's very much me with Dark Souls. I love watching people play Dark Souls. I cannot stand playing Dark Souls. <laughs> I, I kind of feel you there. And sometimes, you know, I'll watch people play it, but sometimes I'll even watch Pedro. Mm, sometimes. Yeah, he thinks he's people. No one likes to watch me, let's be honest. All right. Touché. Well, coming up next, <laughs> we uh, apparently the hate mail section has turned into the OBS support section. Yay. So that's going to help you out there. OBS questions, send them to us. Wouldn't you know it? Nope. It's about time that Oof. we wrapped up this uh, very Steam heavy bit of Linux Gamecast that we had today. Never. We, we, we still and, got Steam uh, news to go through. Like, Yeah, we probably do. <laughs> but uh, more on that next week. Uh, if, say, you have a bit of Steam news that you'd like to contribute, or maybe you have a bit of hate mail that you'd like to send our way, go to LinuxGameCast.com, hit the contact button, fill out the form. It's pretty easy. It usually defaults to LGC Weekly. That's the show you want to uh, send us some hate mail over. You can also send some feedback for that uh, Wednesday show that myself, uh, Ven, and Jill do, if you'd like. Nope. Why not? Uh -uh. I I I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to scream out my back door. Then don't get angry at you. Wait, do you ever get back to me? I'm like, I mean, if you <laughs> it's screaming out your back. To what is screaming us? out your back door a uh, like a euphemism for farting? No. <laughs> if I go the upstairs back door, I can get some volume out of that because I'm coming down the hill. Out, 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 out of your butt, I, I believe yep. you, <laughs> dude. Why do you think I kept the like uh, what, what was those same thing uh, Vuvuzela around? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh man! Could, yeah, just uh, has, is, is, is there a YouTube video of that? Butt cheeks. It, has, has, so, has someone like made a? Why do you video ask of, things you know the answer to? <laughs> because I want someone to provide links. because no. I'm lazy. No, we have to do serious <laughs> tech support for Wingless P. I Ooh. think it was Wingless Prune. Um, what's about OBS, man? You might know it. You might love it. We use it to capture the games and stream the show. He's like, hey, man, hi. I've recently updated my OBS to the latest version, 25. Okay, that's latest and greatest. The Linux browser plugin doesn't seem to work as it did for version 23.0.2. Do you know of a way to get this working? Um, I'm like using 2503 here, and it's working. 
Uh, what the hell am I using? I don't even know anymore. Wait, these guys are looking up numbers. Why don't you just reinstall 2302? Because <laughs> I'm oh, I'm on I'm on 2406. Okay. 2406. I didn't have that problem. Um you can do I'll give everyone a word of advice. Uh learn to build OBS. It's real easy. They have a walkthrough for Fedora, Debian, Arch, and I don't know, probably Gentoo. I think there is legitimately one for Gentoo on there. And do that and scroll to the bottom of their build page and they'll tell you how to do a portable build, which will just install a portable version in your fucking home directory. So mm -hmm. you can build, try before you buy. And if you like that, just go back to that, rerun your CMake for a global install on your prefix and boop, you're done. Because you do run into issues like this. Pedro, how many like version bumps did they do after 25? They're like 25 and 25, like, oops, are bad. Then finally like, oh, yeah, like for reals this time. They had a couple of uh, like really tiny revisions. But mm -hmm. yeah, uh, 25.0.3 is working fine here as a global install with the browser plugin. Because their uh, supposed version that the... You know, uh, one of the things that uh, version 25 was supposed to bring was the Linux browser option. It, it, it's not working. It's but not the browser there. plugin still works. Well, <laughs> right. I mean, if you currently want to build it off head right now, you can pay really close to, uh, attention to the issue because you have to download a Ceph binary. Well, it's the source and you got to rebuild these other two things to load it, to watch it not work with like, any of the overlay stuff that we Anything. use. Yeah. Nothing. It's there. <laughs> like, oh, look, I can add it. And hey, it'll load like cnet.com. Yeah, know. it loads the uh, default page. That's uh -huh. about it. But as far as it goes. So we're going to be sticking with the Linux browser for a few minutes, but I guess they realized that so they didn't roll it out. But as Strider pointed out, maybe a log file or something like that would be a good thing to post in the Discord <laughs> Linux support channel. Pro BS, because that's the best way for help. That's I mean, isn't that just you, though? I can ignore that easier, though. <laughs> <laughs> um, th this stuff shows up in the inbox. I mean, I got to read it. All right. Right? Fair. We can, si we sure. can science our way out of that. All right, whatever. Man, I don't know. I do know on that bombshell... We're going to cue the chairs, then back to me. Ha! Head you We're throwing chairs at Deep Sky Derelicts. <laughs> Let's talk about how it runs on Ubuntu. Go fuck yourself. Uh, check it out if you want to get a hold of me. I'm Vin Stone on Twitter. I'm doing that thing. Um, that's where I'm at, because I'm there. I do occasionally post on mass.linuxgamecast.com. I'm just at Vin there, man, hanging out, being all sexy in my clown outfit. It's pretty hot. I'm Jordan Spung. You can find me blowing out of my back door, or yelling out of my back door, <laughs> With the Boo Fusela <laughs> down a hill on Twitter <laughs> at the Burning Fool or at Frojo at our Mastodon. Hang on. And you hey can God. find me uh, repeatedly it took me a minute. blowing I had too many out of my back door going through my mind and they were on fighting. Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's definitely not as sexy as it sounds, but it's at and accounted for F O U R. So uh, yeah, follow me on Twitter. I, I'm there. My Boo Zalas is plenty sexy. Zaylas. <laughs> oh, man. Shit. Oh, Let's man, roll I some credits for the glorious psychopaths who make this possible. <laughs> burp, maybe. Burp, burp. Burp. maybe, maybe, maybe. Ah, found him. All right. Yeah, jo Johnny has 18 dildos. <laughs> and he falls down a hill. How many dildos does he have? I remember that episode of LG. Wait. <laughs> Man, that, that's got to be something we got to do. Get a wheelbarrow of dildos and just let them race them down a hill or something. Got to thank our Patreons. We got to thank our advisor, like uh, Mr. Haplo, Basil's. who's also in our oh, executive yeah. producer list, maybe. I don't Probably. Know oh, fuck there. yeah, he is. I didn't remember to change it. Come on. Yeah, our third, what do you think Mr. We are? Fox Dog, Empty, The Atomic Gas, Mike G, Bob Ramps, Aldius, another Haplo, yeah. and Mac Geek. Oh, yeah. And Scott. Oh, yeah. Scott's there, too. Hey, and Scott. Prosqua. How you doing, Scott? And Drummer. Wow, we got we got a lot of executive producers. Hot damn. Yes, we uh, do. They, they exude the... Yeah. They exude the toot. 
Um, gotta thank Dave S. And a bunch of producers. Michael G. Topical. Yabo. Mr. Ricker. Todd. Matt Moody. W. Sorceress. Kylinix. Ryan. Rudy. 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 Rohan. Hofenstanzo. 2000. Ludricus. Oh. Ryan. Another Joe and Steve. Evandro. Douglas. Melkirk. Goes at 2000. Christian. And Ross. Mr. Mango, sir. BKME, Ross Mawada, Ryan, Pedro Nathan, Reed, that, the Admiral JT, that, and that, Brock. That, that, that's like a wall of sound. We can make a noise album out of just us reading names. It's probably already been other. done. It's just in a different language. Yeah, we, 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 need, we need the dubstep. <laughs> Someone make the dubstep remix of that, please. Please. Dynify our beautiful people. We'll see you next week. Five dudes.